What up, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Friends of Press, SoundCloud, SoundClick, uh, Instagram, Aquarius, and All Points LGBT community. I was reading this whole art article about the Dugar family, and they said that they put a passage on their Facebook page that said, Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Uh, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God. And he will draw near to you, James 4, 7 through 8. And um, a lot of people are assuming that the Dugar family, since they are against the LGBT community, are saying that it's the victim's fault that they were shot and killed by Mateen. But the Dugar family has not been on their Facebook page to clear it up. They're just letting people... So, look, I don't... I, I, I'm just going to say my, my little two cents. I don't see how any of this passage can say, oh, it's their fault. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Submitting yourself to God and resist the devil, I mean... I mean, when you start looking into that, it's just saying, you know, live a life according to the word of God, and resist temptation, which is from the devil. And uh, the devil will flee from you if you resist temptation. Now, to say that this is strictly for the homosexual community is reaching, even though these people don't like the homosexual community, they don't like the homosexual act. I don't know much about them. But I just think it's reaching because I get tempted every day, you know, on something. To say something to someone, to look at something I'm not supposed to look at, to think something I'm not supposed to be thinking. You know, you need to rebuke those thoughts. Um, to go somewhere I'm not supposed to go to, hang out with somebody I'm not supposed to be hanging out with. It's, temptation comes in all sorts of forms. So how can we say, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you, and we look at that and aim that towards the LGBT community and the victims? I, 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 I'm, I'm clueless on that. Draw near to God, he will draw near to you. End of statement. I think it's good advice. Truthfully, you know, I, and I'm going to tell you why I think it's good advice. Let me tell you why. Because, listen, let, okay, let, let's be honest. LGBT community, uh, straight community, Christian, Baptist, whatever your faith is, m your faith is Muslim, whoever you are on this planet, you will die. Let's just be real with that. You'll die. The scriptures read as once appointed for a man to die and then to be judged. And God says he will judge the quick and the dead. And the reason why he said the quick and the dead, because he's going to come back and there's going to be people alive. They're going to be judged too. So in short, nobody is getting away with anything. You know what I'm saying? People out here committing crimes. Uh, murders, and people out here, you know, fornicating and whatever. You know, it's hard not to, you know, you know, want to have some type of company, you know, your man or woman or whatever your sexual preference is. It's hard without going through the channels of being married. You're just like, I'm horny now. <laughs> married. But there are, there are rules God has laid down. And nobody's perfect. We have to try to obey those rules. You know, that's what the Holy Spirit is for. That's why he's called the comforter. He warns us on what to do and what not to do. That's why I love the Holy Ghost. And that's why God says he wrestles with the sinners. Because he wrestles with us because our flesh wants to do one thing, but our spirit is like, nah, do this. That's called a relationship with God. It's just like any relationship with anybody else, whether it's a relationship with your children, whether it's a relationship with, uh, with your parents, uh, with your loved ones, with your spouse, heck, with your pets. You wrestle with your pets. You know, you go through it. Your pets don't want to do what you want them to do. 
You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. It's a relationship, people. So I, I don't look at... Look, when you're looking at these passages and you're trying to find something negative, you will. It, it doesn't take much. When you want to ask questions and say, oh, are, are these people really blaming it on the, you know, the victims? Look, if that's the way your mind works, then that's what's going to happen. You're going to find something negative about it instead of looking at it as something good. That's called a personal preference. I don't look at it and go, oh, yeah, they just blamed it. Listen, I don't care if they can't stand homosexuals in, in, in any form. I do not look at this passage and say, submit yourself to God, uh, submit yourself therefore to God and resist evil, gay community, and he will flee from uh, and, 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 and resist the devil, gay community, and he will flee from you, gay community, uh, draw near to God, gay community, and he will draw near to you, gay community. No, I look at everyone. And say, this is some good advice. This is the word of God. And we all need to do it. Because see, now the victims can't do that. And that's the reality of the day. You can. Regardless of what has happened over the last week. You can repent. You can submit yourself to God. Uh, you can resist the devil. You can do this because you're alive and a dead man cannot repent. And that's just the truth. We li Listen, we want to think that we're all going to heaven. That's what we want to think. Gay, straight, whatever. Whatever it is that you love. We all want to believe, you know what, God is just going to accept me the way I am, because God made me this way. And then we go on about our day like, ah, it's okay. God made me this way. So when I die, he's going to let me walk right into heaven. And that's just the way it is. Mm. Ah, there's, there's no truth to that. There's no truth to that. You know, I, I love, you know, this person... God's going to have to deal with it. See, that's the arrogance that we live under. Being Americans, that's the arrogance we live under. God's going to do what I want. And I'm going to do what I want. And then blah, 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 blah. And God and all his holy angels, which are just huge and giant creatures and very, very powerful creatures, they're going to all bow down to me when I get to heaven because I did what I wanted to and forget what God said to do. Yeah, forget the word. Yeah, who cares about the Bible? Holy Ghost and Father, Son, and all that. Who cares? Well, God cares. And regardless of what your sexual preference is, we're all going to see God. We're all going to be stripped naked. We're all going to bow before him because he, he and his gang are the biggest and baddest there is. And none of us are going to stand and, 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 and be like, well, you know, I wanted to do this, so I did it. Now what? Open the gates. <laughs> You're going to get thrown in a fiery pit is what's going to happen. And I'm not aiming this at the LGBT community. I'm aiming this at every single one of us. Myself included, I know this. When I know I'm doing something that God does not like, I'm always like, you know what, Lord? I need help. I don't go, you know what, Lord? I'm perfect. No, I wake up in the morning. Look, I'm single. I wake up in the morning like, yo, it'd be nice if I had a shorty. What up, Lord? <laughs> Who's a brother up? You know what I'm saying? It'd be nice if I had a little shorty up here. You know what I'm Dark skin. About 35. Woo! You know what I'm saying? Firm and fully packed. But I don't. So I can't just go out and just find somebody and just do what I want. You know what I'm saying? I have to fall under the rules of God and country. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the facts.
Because if I die in my sin, just blatantly, I'm going to just blatantly do what I want and die in my sins. You know, I got an answer for that. My conversation ain't going to go too good. So I know when I'm tempted, when my mind is going somewhere it shouldn't be, I'm like, God, I need some help. I need help. I need to submit myself, therefore, to God. I need to resist what's in my mind. Resist that temptation. Resist those voices. You know what I'm saying? So the devil will flee from me. I need to resist. I need to draw closer to God so he can protect me. You know, you draw nigh to God, he'll draw nigh to you. Draw closer to God and he will draw near you. And that's just the facts. The more you pray, the more God talks to you. Look, if somebody called me once a year, I don't really expect to, you know, what I'm talking But if somebody starts calling me, you know, once a week, I expect to talk to them and I'll start calling them. That's just the way it is. It's called a relationship, people. So we can pray for those people who were taken out of here. But the only thing we really can do that matters to us is we can hope that the Lord lets them into the kingdom. And uh, we can look at the word and the scriptures ourselves and start falling in line with it. Because if the people who were slain uh, are, are judged and, you know, and God says either yes or no, we don't really know that. We, we, I mean, we don't really know if that happened, if, if, they're, if they're in or out. We don't really know. We only know what the Bible says. That's what we know. So we hope that they made it into the pearly gates. You know what I'm saying? We hope. But if they didn't, they didn't make it into heaven, then, you know, it, it's, it's a bad situation for eternity. So we can only hope and pray that they made it in. But if they didn't, there's only one other place to be. And you have a chance not to go to that other place. And that's where we're at now. It's your boy Tone 202. Peace.